Okay, so today's training is on price action. And these patterns will really help you in your trading. If you can practice them, learn them, understand how they work, uh, find them in your chart, and just use them, uh, these will become a great asset to your trading. So uh, we're going to start with some bullish, bullish patterns, okay? Bullish candlestick patterns. And um, the first one we want to look at here is just a basic candle. This is a basic bull candlestick, right? Very simple. This is the low down here at the bottom. This is the high. This is where it closes. And then right here is where the price opens. Now, the thing you need to understand about these is that um, it doesn't matter what time frame you're looking at. This candle will work no matter what time frame. And the trading patterns you're looking at trading will work no matter what time frame. Uh, so if you're trading a daily or a one hour, these patterns will all work the same. Now, uh, just a little advanced note, if you're looking at a one hour pattern and you see the pattern forming on a one hour and also on a daily, the two patterns working together is really powerful. Okay, it's really powerful. And, um, you know, if you see a daily bullish breakout candle and you see a one hour bullish breakout candle and they're happening at the same time, well, that's that's the kind of trades we want to we want to find. Okay, so. Um, yeah, so then now that we have the regular basic candle, the next candle we want to look at is what we call the bullish engulfing pattern. Okay. And the, a couple of important things about this bullish engulfing. Uh, the reason it's called, there's a couple different names for it. Um, you might hear me call it an outside candle, right? Because it's you have this price here and this price here. And so this covers the downside. It broke the downside. You see that? And it covers the upside. And the reason it's called engulfing is because it takes the entire candle it does the entire candle okay that so the larger candle engulfs the previous candle showing a shift in momentum to the upside and price is likely to rise now another thing that's really important with this candle is when you see this you have to remember something okay we don't at one point so this was the open okay so this was the open at one point, this was red, and it was looking like this, okay? You see that? It was red, and it was looking like this. And so at that point, what is everyone thinking? This Let's just say this is a one-hour candle. It opens, and then it rolls over, and this is the open, and you see that it's breaking the lows, Right, because we want to short when it's breaking the lows, right? A good trader will wait for it to break the lows and we'll go short. So every single person sees that red candle and red on red, breaking the lows, everyone's going short, 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 me included. Every trader in the world is thinking short, okay, because it broke the low. But then the market had another plan. And it cleared out all these stops for people that maybe had a stop loss here. It cleared all those stops. Stops cleared. Okay. And so when I teach these patterns, when I see a pattern like this on the chart, I get really excited. But I also understand what's happening behind the scenes. So stops are cleared. What else is happening? People are entering sell orders. So when a stop is triggered, what happens? When a stop is triggered, what's actually happening? Selling. When a stop hits, that means someone sold their position. Okay? Right? When someone takes a new trade, it gets more sell orders. Right? So it's getting a big flood of sell orders in. Now, right? Now, what's happening to those people 
that are getting the sell orders. What's happening? Well, they're either taking a loss if they had a stop, or the second group, which is selling, gets trapped. Okay, they get trapped, right? Have you ever been trapped? I've been trapped. I don't like it. Okay. So then what happens? So then momentum then goes to the upside. Boom. So now the exact same thing's happening on the other side. All the stops get triggered. So what kind of stops are being triggered here? Sell stops. Sell stops. So whoever was in charge of this candle, the market makers, the, the traders of the universe, whoever these people are, they're removing, they're put, flushing out traders and they're getting themselves in better positions. Okay. So now sell stops are getting triggered and what else is happening? So when sell stops are triggered, what's happening? When a sell stop is triggered, it means buying because they sell the position and then to close it, what do they have to do? They have to buy it back. So then when that happens, buying is being triggered. And then when people see this candle after a reverse, what's going to happen? There's more buyers coming in, right? More buyers coming in. So that means that we flushed all those people out. And I like to short on a trade like this, but I like it even better when I see the old flipperoo, right? When I know that price, when I see this, I get very excited. I get very excited again, because why? If we're using it on with an A plus setup that's trending, and we're also using it on a support level, and we see this, we have everything in our in our place for the for a really solid setup. Okay. And so that's why being selective and understanding these patterns is really powerful, right? It's very powerful. Okay. So this is probably one of the better setups. You don't see these all the time. Oops, wrong way. Uh, you don't see these all the time, but uh, when you do, um, pay attention to them, especially when they're on a level. All right. The other one is a tweezer bottom. And again, this is the same thing. Uh, it's not the same thing because it didn't it didn't engulf, but um, it didn't engulf, but it tested the level. So if it would have been down like this and then just a little bit higher, that would have been considered an engulfing. So this is very close to an engulfing. It's just the, the exact same level, right? But it's the same concept. It's the same concept. And you can also call this a double bottom as well, um, which is a, a reversal. All of the patterns that we see are a lot of them are the same thing. If we even go back here, this is really a double bottom too. It's just what the candles are currently showing us. Because we, if we're looking for, you know, I said all these work on different time frames. I could change the chart on this. I could change this to um, a 15 minute. And if I change it to a 15 minute, I might see a tweezer. If I change it to an hour, I might see a bullish engulfing. So it's not so much of what you're actually seeing, but it's what's happening in the market and what the price is currently showing you on the specific time frame. Because the market is doing what it's doing. It's flushing out the sellers. It's adding new buyers. It's trapping traders and it's pushing price in the new direction. And whatever time frame you're looking at is giving you a little bit of a different picture. And that's why it's good to know these patterns and to understand if you keep tweaking your time frames, you're going to see them a little differently, but you're going to see the same thing. So I'll look at this on a, a 15 minute and um, I'll look at it on an hourly. And if I see a lot of combination um, setups, I'll be really happy about it and it helps encourage me. Right. It helps encourage me a lot. So uh, this is a great pattern to learn and study along with the tweezer bottom. OK, so same thing. All right. So now we're going to go to the next one. This is basic. I probably should have put this first because this is, again, just the same thing. But I'm going to just keep hitting it so it really sinks in. This is a bullish pin bar in, by itself. It's probably nothing that I would ever trade. I would never trade this by itself.
But if I look at it in conjunction with another candle that looks like this, and you know, like what we just saw, yes. Or if I see an inside candle, you know, something, a smaller candle like that, and it takes out the top and the bottom, then yes, right? And I know that there's a level here, then uh, there's a big yes. And I know that it's an uptrend, then yeah, it's an even bigger yes. Okay, but again, this is just a simple bullish pattern, bullish pin bar. And it just, the open was here. It faked to the low side. Price got rejected to the upside. And now it's closing at the top, which indicates momentum going further. All right. So, um, so there we go. All right. Now this is called a morning star and you know, you might see different names for different things, but this is a three pattern, a three candle pattern. Again, another really solid pattern because we have, and it's doing the same thing that the other patterns did, right? Remember we talked about the engulfing. Look, this is actually an engulfing pattern. These two candles, so if we went back to the bullish engulfing, these two candles right here engulfed the previous candle. So really, it's a different pattern. It's a different representation on the chart, but it's actually the exact same thing. This is the exact same thing as a bullish engulfing candle, right? The exact same, right? The exact same thing. So uh, it's just it just took it just took three candles to demonstrate the exact same thing. Now it may uh, only be a two candle pattern if we change the time frame. You know, if we change this. This is a one hour chart and we change it to a four hour chart, it might turn into a bullish engulfing or a two hour chart. It might turn into a bullish engulfing. And so again, it's, we know what it's doing. It's flushing out. It's adding sellers. It's hitting sell stops. It's flushing out the sellers and it's reversing on them. Uh, it happened to us today when we were trading in the live room on the USD CAD. It popped us up, it got us caught in, and it took us out, right? And uh, that is what the market likes to do. So if it's happening to you, the way you really get familiar with this is to study these patterns, but also when it happens to you a few times and then you, it starts to click, then it's like, okay, I know what's happening. I know what's happening. And one of the things that I've gotten very good at um, and it's been just made a huge difference for me is I will take this, see, this is when it's going low, I'll put my level here and let's say that this is a level and it breaks lower and this candle will be red and it's full red. And I'm like, uh Oh, it's going without me. So I will sell, right? I'll sell. Okay. Well then when I see this happening, I'm like, you know what? I just got trapped. Like this just happened to me. I'm like, oh, I just got trapped. I can't believe it. And then I immediately put on another trade. And I went, boom, and I got it. And so what ended up happening on the trade was I got trapped, right? And it's hard to avoid these because it's a perfect trade. There's nothing wrong with taking this. Um, there are some ways to avoid it, which we might do a whole nother webinar on. Uh, <laughs> we've got some good training coming up. But um, once I got trapped, I put my stop right here. And I took a loss of 400. And then I got in here and I rode that thing up and I made uh, 1200 on the trade. Okay. And so again, that takes a lot of practice and, but it's not hard once you understand what's happening behind the scenes and it's just being willing to take small losers, which I've hit that over and over again. And I'm going to continue to hit that because it's so important. It's part of the process of becoming a successful trader is learning to take your losers small and take big winners. Now, um, we're, I, one of the ways to help us from getting trapped is to really follow the best trends so that we're not shorting and going long on the same setups. That's 
me not being patient on my trends selection. Um, but we're going to continue to improve our trend selection so that we're not getting trapped, right? But, it, but again, it's important to know. If, I think it's important to get trapped a few times so you understand what's going on and you can feel how it feels and you know, and then you survive it and you're like, hey, this isn't a big deal. I can survive this, you know, and you just, boom, you just keep moving. All right. So, so is this helpful for everybody? You get anybody getting anything good out of this so far? All right. Now, um, this is actually, I, I, now in hindsight, this might be the same as the bullish engulfing. Let me go back and see. This is actually the same as the bullish engulfing pattern, but I called this outside candle. Uh, I just did the same pattern twice, but uh, it's good to see the same pattern twice because we get a different look. This is the bullish engulfing here. See what this one looks like? And then this one is outside candle. It's the same concept, right? But it's a totally different pattern, but it's the same thing. It took out the lows. At one point, this was a really nice three bar down pattern and we're shorting here, right? We're shorting and then we get trapped and then woohoo, away we go, right? And uh, this is just a great trade. So uh, again, if you get trapped here, you know, you put your stop, maybe find a lower pin bar or a, a lower moving average, put your stop here. When you get trapped, then just re-enter on the other side as it's breaking, enter here, right? But we're not going to get trapped. We're going to avoid those traps. Another little trick here to avoid. <laughs> uh, another little trick to avoid. Um, I'm just laughing at Henry's comment. He said he got, he trapped his wife when he got married. Like she's like, what? <laughs> he tricked me. <laughs> I, Henry, I, I did the same thing. I, I made myself look a lot better than what I actually was. <laughs> but she's, she's stuck with me now. Um, anyways, um, boy, I lost my track, train of thought there. Uh, good. I'm glad that some of you guys are getting some out of this. Good. All right. So this is another reversal here. And then this one's called an inside candle reversal. Okay. And the reason that this is called an inside candle is because this candle didn't move any direction. You see that this one, it didn't break this low or this high. It's inside. It's called inside because it's in between this power candle. And so that this was an indecision, right? And then it broke out, right? To the upside. It couldn't go lower. It tried to go low, but then it went out. And so this is something that we could take a buy on here. But probably a better place to buy would be on a break of, of this master candle. This is some people will call that the master candle. So this is not this third candle is not an inside candle. The second candle is this one breaks this upside. So when it breaks the upside, it's saying now we're bullish. But I would probably wait for a little more bullish activity uh, before doing it. Um, that's just how I would trade it. So if we looked at a different pattern and then this was up like this to the upside like that, and we had a pin like that, that would be a better candle for me to take an entry on. But at least now you know what is going on, right? You know that it's trying to make a decision. So uh, another pattern I think that we have later is one where this will be um, green and then it comes down the other side as well. Um, so when you get an indecision candle like this, that's the market consolidating. And um, I'm going to show you later on, these inside candles are actually some of my favorite setups as well. Okay. All right. So here's another inside cat pattern. And then this one we call the hot dog. And this is, ex so the last inside candle um was a reversal this is more of a continuation but i absolutely love this pattern i absolutely love this pattern um, it works really well on continuations and breakouts and so 
We got market movement. It's pulling up and we're in a strong uptrend. Very strong. We get a move and then this is an inside. See that? It's inside of here. And then it's a pullback. It's indecision. And then what happens? We break to the upside. We break to the upside and then away we go, right? And so one of the best ways to trade this is to just wait for it. And then when it pulls, get into the entry right here, right? And the reason I don't particularly, I, you can buy here and get a really tight stop. I mean, that's a, a strategy and it's a way to do it. Um, but I prefer to wait for the full bullish momentum, right? Uh, you can test different ways. Whatever you do, make sure you test it and try it out on a, on a lower time frame or, or on with small losses and just test it out because yes, you could get a really nice risk to reward ratio. If you get these, you can buy these down here and um, a super tight stop. And it, it doesn't take long to get a, a one to or two to one or one to one on this type of a pullback. If you get in and you are confident on the up move, look, you get in here. This could be like, you know, let's just say that this is five pips, right? You put your stop and you get out in like two candles at 10 pips. So if you're a scalper, uh, and you're doing it with a strong uptrend. This is an as this pattern is just a beautiful sight to see. Um, beautiful. Okay. So that is all of the bullish patterns that we're going to go over. But uh, I can actually, if you guys want access to this, it's also a PDF, and uh, we'll we'll maybe try to get that as a handout. I don't know if Ben's in here or not. If Ben's in here today. Okay, so let's keep going. Uh, now these are bearish. These are bearish. So again, this is a bearish candle. We have the close, the low, the open, and the high. Uh, and this is bearish. Bearish means that price is moving lower, right? Very simple uh, stuff. The very foundation and basics of trading. Uh, this is the stuff that we see every day. Now, here's a bearish engulfing candle. So, again, the same thing with except for the bullish. The, at one point, this candle was breaking up, broke this level. We're hitting stops, and then people are buying in. And this is what happened today on the USD CAD. This is exactly what happened today. Um, and I got trapped on it, right? I got trapped on it. Um, and that it just happened, right? It happened. I got trapped. I took a loss on it, um, but no big deal because now I'm looking at shorting it. <laughs> okay. And actually I did short it on a swing trade, which I'll be posting later. Yeah. We just wait for it. And when we see that it happens, if you do get trapped, if you see that it happens, then you wait for it and you get in at the br price here right? And you put your stop right here. And so uh, just another reminder, this, you don't, we don't have to get trapped on these because why? Because we can wait for them to happen. We could be like, oh, we got an uptrend and, and this uptrend is actually inside of a bigger downtrend. And so you're just waiting for this, right? You know that it's a downtrend and you're just being patient patient, patient, patient. Oh, wait, stall, stall, bearish engulfing right on the level. I am all over it. And so you, by being aware of the trend, knowing what other traders are not paying attention to, we're going to take advantage of everybody else that's getting trapped because maybe these are low, um, you know, low time frame traders or algorithms it could be the computer algorithms the computer algorithms they're they're just computers they're not that smart right have you ever noticed that computers aren't that smart they just do what people tell them computer programs are really dumb right and so the computer programs could be getting trapped and we're waiting for it we're just ready to go being very patient right so being very patient is important with our trading uh so there we go we got the bull bearish engulfing we got the tweezer tops, the same thing. This is a double, also a double top, um, two pins on the top. Price, it's 
basically the exact same thing, just in a different format. Um, but as we understand and as we get familiar with these, this is going to be a great tool to help you become an uh, excellent trader. These are going to be great tools to help you become excellent traders. Uh, here's just a regular bearish pin bar on its own. Uh, this is the open. Here is the high. And here is the, the close. Okay. And so what does this mean? That means that a price got rejected. It's just the seller said, you know what? Not today. Not today. Maybe tomorrow, <laughs> but not today. Right? Uh, not today, sell. Not today, buyers. The bears are here, and we're here, and we we're running the show right now. Okay. All right. So now uh, again, the evening star, and also this is a two pat two candle engulfing pattern because it takes that out. Two pattern engulfing pattern, and uh, if we're using this right on a key level, we got our stop loss right here. Even in one candle, you can get a one-to-one -one risk to reward, even in one pure candle. But the great news about something like this is it might run more candles. You know, we might run three, four. On a really good trend, we can run five. And on an awesome trend, we could move six or seven candles down. And we get ourselves our one risk and our seven reward, right? Now, obviously, that doesn't happen all the time right? Because there's other things that pop in, it reverses. But even if you can get to the bottom of this and you do a one-to-one, -one, you're in really good shape. If you can get, and actually this is even better than a one-to-one. -one. This is even better than a one-to-one. -one. If you enter uh, on this candle, right on this pen here, put your stop right up there. And even to the bottom of that candle, you got a nice no, oh, just about a one-to-one. -one. I'm just eyeballing this outside of a chart. Pretty close. But really good, really good. You know, um, if you can win 70% of your trades by really timing them well, by timing them well, and being patient and using the trend, a one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio is going to do really well long-term. It's going to do really well. All right, a couple more here. So we've got, these are um, spinning tops. And these right here are also indecision. These are indecision candles um, because price went up, price went down, and it stuck. And then it did it again. Price went up, price went down, and it stuck. So when you're using this in the right format, when you're using it in the direction of the trend and at a key level, this pattern is a really good one. You just be patient and you wait for it to take out the level. And when it does, you're taking out two candles. So, you know, the more candles you have in here, the better your trade is going to be. That's why when you see a channel like this, um, when you see something like that, and you got all these candles inside, it's a lot of orders getting stacked, right? So all of these, <laughs> all of the traders that are buying and selling when they shouldn't, they shouldn't, you shouldn't be buying and selling inside of a, a zone like this, right? And so it's just collecting, the longer the market stays in here, the more people that it's just waiting, collecting orders. It's just collecting orders, collecting, 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 collecting. And then when the market decides that it has enough, then it's going to finally make its move. And more often than not, well, I, I don't have any numbers, so I can't say this. But a lot of times, if you have a, a sideways market like this, and then you, let's say that this is a... a a downtrend and it's consolidating and we're maybe expecting a down move a lot of times you'll see a big break like this and then an engulfing candle that looks like that that covers the entire range sometimes um and what that's doing is it's flushing all those orders out trapping all those traders, flushing all these guys out, 
getting that money flow, getting that order flow, and then pushing the market to where it really wants to go. And so that's, again, this would be considered indecisive inside and then three outside candle moving lower. Right. And here's um, so here's kind of an example of that and a little bit of it. Uh, this is more of a downward continuation trend, but you do see how the price faked up. Right. So this is a downward continuation trend. We're calling it the hot dog pattern. And price was moving lower. And what happened with this candle? Well, with this candle, we bottomed out. And this is actually an outside. See this candle here? That's what we call an outside because it covered here. So it's a bullish outside candle. It was trying to fake, didn't work. And then we get another outside candle, two outside candles in a row. And this one again, faked up, didn't work. And then finally it worked down. And remember what I said last time about this indecision? This is an opportunity for the market to refresh. It's a market to refresh and to continue to push lower. It, buyers step in, it's taking a pause, and this is a great place to sell right on inside of here, or you just wait for this level to break and then sell on the backside. Um, so really powerful. This is a powerful candle inside of a very strong trend. Very powerful candle inside of a strong trend. Okay. All right, and then now we have the outside candle reversal pattern. We have price moving up. Moving up, it, the downside was rejected. Then we have maybe a spinning top right here. What happened? Rejected to the up, rejected to the down. And then finally, a big push up, rejected, and then moving lower, right? And what happened? Both of these levels got flushed out. Both of these levels got flushed out. So um, price then pushed lower. And we're, if we're using this inside of a trend on a key level, you know, it, the, you, you want to see these patterns and wait for them to develop and take your trades. Okay, so just the better we are at finding these, the better we are at identifying them, the better we are at trading them, the better you're going to be as a trader, right? And you're going to see your skill improve, your confidence is going to improve, everything's going to improve when you start identifying these patterns. Now, this again is an inside candle. So why is it called an inside? Because we have this candle here, right? And this red one is inside of it, right? Inside. Did not break the high or the low. That's a consolidate, very similar to the hot dog, but this candle was a rejection. Maybe this was a big up move, but right beforehand. And now we get this, oh, it's pausing. Maybe people are expecting another hot dog, right? They're expecting a hot dog. They're expecting price to move up, but nope, didn't happen. It broke this low. And it moved lower. But again, what is actually happening here is now it's taking this candle out. So if we look at this on a different time frame to get perspective, we can see that this high was failed and then this low got taken out. And so price is likely to go lower. And so remember, we talk about these different patterns. We talk about prices likely to drop, but we don't have any guarantees. We don't know the market is going to do what it's going to do. One of the things that's really important for us is to understand that we can only control what we can control. And that is our risk, where we get into a trade, and where we get out of a trade. That's it. I can't control the market. I don't know what's going to happen. But I can control how I trade it. I can control how much money I'm going to put on the line. I control when I get in and I can control when I get out. That's it. And I can't even really control my emotions that well. You know, I can experience them. I can understand that I'm going to have emotions when I'm winning. I understand that I'm going to have emotions when I'm losing, but I don't really even try to control them. I just try to understand what's happening in, 
in my mind, in my body, in my heart, in my spirit, in my soul. I just want to know what I'm feeling. And, you know, I, I, I just don't let it cause me to do something stupid. I keep a little journal here. Right. And when I'm experiencing something, I just I just get out of this room and I start writing about it. You know, I write about how I'm feeling and that what's going on. You know, when I had a really good day, I was just writing about how great it was and how thankful I was and how I felt. And then I didn't want to get too excited. I didn't want to get too excited and do something stupid, you know, like risk $10 million and try to become the richest man on the planet. You know, people do that when they sometimes you're, you're more deadly when you have a winning streak than when in any other time because you get that euphoria feeling. I hope you enjoyed that price action candlestick training. If you can apply some of that knowledge to your current strategy, you're going to see an instant improvement. So let me know in the comments below if you learned anything and what specifically was your favorite pattern. Let me know. Uh, so I can do more training on that pattern. Also, uh, I want to let everybody know that there is a free cheat sheet in the link in the description, as well as access to our live trading room Monday through Friday, along with all of our tools and everything else that's included. And then lastly, if you're interested in our very special hot dog candlestick pattern trading strategy, we have an in-depth guide on how to train that, and that is on sale now in the description below. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know and leave a like and subscribe because you're going to get a lot of great content that's going to take your trading to the next level. Thank you and see you in the next video.